Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the income journey. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my niche site and how it performed in June of 2022. If you guys have been following along on the journey, you'll know that we've crossed over $6,400 last month. However, this month we have kind of a blip on the radar for the site. Uh, we did get a little bit affected by that May core update last month. So I'm gonna update you guys on how it's performing. We didn't get hit majorly, no 80% drops, thankfully. However, we did get a little bit of a drop, probably about 15% or so. So you'll see how the site has done and recovered from that. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna jump into the numbers. I do also wanna talk a little bit kind of about balance and how I'm balancing my time over the next two months here in July and August. I'm just back from holidays and we actually had probably one of our bigger weeks of publishing content even though I was on holidays and I did maybe half an hour to 45 minutes work every single day there, uh, but nothing major but the site still ticked along without me, which was really, really nice. And that's kind of our systems in place. So I wanna talk a little bit about balance in this video as well. But first, let's jump into the numbers and take a look how the site is doing. So this right here is the overview. The site has been live now for 17 months. That's pretty crazy looking back. I remember, you know, when I first started the site, the first posts we put up on the site, we've grown a long way. We've now done over 1.3 million unique users on the website, which is just insane when you think about that amount of people that's pretty much close to the amount of people that live in my country i don't know maybe there's two million three million max uh in my country i'm not sure the exact numbers but it's pretty close to it and that's insane in terms of views 1.7 million there uh, so obviously that's pretty good we're getting some return visitors there are people coming back uh, and that return visitor rate has been growing month over month as well so that is pretty much the trajectory over the lifetime and you can see here like how insane things have went Pretty much since January, 2022 has been a really good year for growth on the website and we've really started to ramp up. And I think that's what you see on most niche sites. No one really goes in that first year and blows it out of the park. There's obviously some examples there that do that, but that's not every single site out there uh, and they're outliers, whereas most are pretty much a grind like this. You can see right for the first year here, pretty much, we got to about, I think this is weekly visitors, maybe 2000 visitors a week. Uh, and then it smashed it up here. Oh, this is daily actually. So now we're doing about 8,000 uh, unique visitors per day. And this month we actually crossed for the first time ever, 10,000 page views in a day, which is really, really cool. Hopefully that continues. Hopefully we'll see some growth because there definitely has been a little bit of a plateau here, as you can see. Over the last month, this is the dip here that you can see that we took on the May core update, but we did kind of bounce back here and we're up to where we were again, and hopefully are gonna go way ahead of that. I've found a couple of nice batches of articles as well that we can go after this next couple of months. Uh, and yeah, we're moving forward again, and we didn't thankfully get hit by that core update, which is nice to see. Touch wood, we don't. Next up here, we have the monthly view. So we definitely didn't grow insane amounts this month. We really didn't grow at all. You can see in terms of views here, we're up 3000 views. We did have one day less, so that's kind of a bonus. We would have, you know, if we had an extra day, probably had 290,000 views, but we did grow again. So traffic has continually gone up every single month since we started this site even though it's very slight here, but we are going up and traffic continues to go up and hopefully we'll cross the 300,000 view mark this month. And I expect to see a little bit of explosive growth, but we'll see how things play out. Here we have the search console. So it's actually insanely similar to last month. It's the exact same amount of clicks right there. Uh, impressions are down about, what well, I think it's 100,000. Uh, and our click through rate and average suggestion have, have stayed the exact same. So the numbers here haven't grown at all, but again, we did get hit by that core update a little bit at the tail end of the month here, as you can see, it drops down. Uh, and this month we kind of just recovered from that. So we're kind of moving out. We're in a plateau here, but hopefully going to move out of that soon. In terms of revenue, we grew again. In May, we did $5,200 from uh, ad revenue. And I should say our ad revenue grew. We actually, for the first time ever, didn't grow revenue this month. Our revenue dipped a little bit, about $200. And that mainly comes down here to having an insane month last month in terms of Amazon commissions. I'm not 100% sure 
why we did so well on Amazon last month. We did over a thousand dollars, which is kind of crazy. I think our biggest month ever before that was five hundred dollars. So a thousand, they're doubled up in a month, and it's kind of just back down to where it was uh, in June here, in the same as it was in April. So we kind of just went back to that. So the dip in revenue is a little bit annoying, but ad revenue still grew here which is a good sign uh we did dip obviously in amazon affiliate commissions but hopefully this month we will see another big month of amazon commissions as i believe there is a revenue bump amazon over prime day have released uh certain categories that are getting a little bit of a boost in terms of commissions over that month so hopefully we should see another big month for amazon affiliate here in terms of total revenue you can see our revenue growth chart you can see we did 6,000, I think last month was $6,450. This month we did like $6,250. So we're down about $200. Everything else grew, right? Ad revenue grew, YouTube revenue grew very, very slightly. Uh, our kind of other partner affiliate network, it grew a good chunk as well. Nothing crazy there. It only does about $150 a month. But again, it grew slightly. Uh, and then there's another one which just kind of gives off $15 a month. Nothing to really take into consideration. But we're growing nicely. We did have a dip here. Uh, and this is kind of our numbers overall. So a lot of people like to kind of worry about upfront investment and upfront costs. You can see here exactly how much I've put into this website since I started. The total invested amount is $11,811 into the site. Now, this is, you know, looks scary. It's a big number. However, I didn't start that way. This money all came from reinvestments off revenue that I made. I pretty much did all of the articles for the first few months. I didn't outsource anything until I was able to outsource it from the money that I was making. And that's exactly what's happened here. So don't worry about needing 11,800 up front. You don't. This is all just reinvestment. And the site in this 17th month, 17 month period has now made over $21,000 in profit. There's a lot of people out there who just invest in their sites. They just hire content writers from the start because they've got cash flow coming from somewhere else, whether that's a job, whether that is other businesses, and they just invest in content. And that's a you know good way to go, but you're gonna take a longer time to see a return on investment. Now, I'm definitely doing that now with other sites, even though they got a little bit affected. If you've watched my recent video on my age domain, um, that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to put more money into, you know, just content out of our profit here. So we did 6,000 in revenue. Our total profit for the site overall is 21,862. And you can see that revenue, or sorry, profit definitely took a dip here in June as well. We went from, uh, I believe about 4,500. I'll take a look in a second at uh, the exact numbers, but roughly about $4,500 in profit last month to 4,000 this month. And that was mainly due to content investment. I just up content investment. As I mentioned at the start of this video, I've been on holiday for the past week. Obviously, only a couple of them days are contributed to June. However, my content writers are producing more articles. I give them more articles when I went on holiday so that they could produce while I wasn't. And it's working really well. And I plan to continue to invest more and more each month into the site. You can see here our content posted. So articles posted, there's definitely a spike here in January. I don't know what I was taking in January, but I wrote an insane amount of articles. I was pushing out five articles per day myself pretty much on weekdays. I don't know what I was eating or doing or taking or snorting that month. But things, you know, really exploded. Since then, we've kind of been in around the 60 to, you know, 70 articles a month. This month, we did 67 articles. And this is our money spent on content. We crossed over $1,500 this month on content. And 67 were posted. So it's kind of the numbers you can see here. Just trending. Everything's trending upwards. There's some outlier months. But we're trending upwards here on pretty much everything. YouTube growth, just the last thing to touch on. We nearly had $100 in revenue for the month. I haven't posted any videos. I plan on posting more this month or possibly July because I'm doing a lot this month in terms of just stuff outside business. And that's what I wanted to talk about in terms of balance. And I'll touch on that in a second. But right here, you know, money spent on content, $1,500. It's a lot. It might seem like a lot, but we're making $6,000 a month now. Now, I do want to continue to push that up. But this month we've took a dip. So I'm already seeing, and if you've got content sites as well, that ad revenue is your primary model. You've probably seen a dip in the first few days in July. I think it was on the 30th of June. I seen a big dip down. And that's probably due to Q3 and companies going ahead and cutting their budgets simply because we're going into a recession uh, or, you know, probably are going into a recession. So 
I'm suspecting that a lot of companies are cutting their budgets and that's why we're seeing a drop in RPMs, just lower spend. However, just in general, over the past few years, July is the start of Q3. At the start of every quarter, you're going to see a cut and a drop and then a rise over the quarter uh, in terms of budgets and RPMs and ad spend. You're going to make more money at the tail end of a quarter and the tail end of a month when budgets are being spent. However, this month we've seen that cut and I think it's a little steeper than it has been in the past years, just simply due to that recession. But July and the summer month are generally a slow month in terms of ad revenue. January is the worst. It's going to be the worst month pretty much for everyone. And then behind that is July. It takes a big dip anyway. So it's not something to majorly worry about. But I've went from doing anywhere from about $180 a day to $200 a day down to about $150 per day right now. So we're probably going to see this month a little bit of a dip in our RPMs. And, you know, obviously that correlates to a dip in our revenue. Now, I do want to really hammer content this month as much as I possibly can. I think it's the 6th of July right now. We've already posted 17 articles. I haven't wrote any of them. So we're really pushing hard to get content out there. And things are starting to rank again. They're ranking quickly and we're getting good traffic. The last couple of months, I was posting stuff that wasn't ranking. My keyword research just wasn't on point. Maybe they will start to rank over time, but they weren't heading straight away. They weren't those super easy, high volume keywords that I was going after. Uh, this month, it seems to have switched around a little bit. We're heading articles that are popping off right away and getting good traffic. So I expect to see some sort of explosive or upward trajectory here over the coming months. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in this video is simply going out there and having some sort of balance. Now, balance to most people is, you know, maybe work and when you're working on your own business, it's hard to have any sort of balance. People just kind of want to put all of their time into their business and not focus on anything else, whether that's you know, working your job and then working your side business after that. You know, you're just coming in and putting all those hours in. Now, I do that. You can see there in January, I did like a crazy sprint and posted a ton of content. Now, I probably put in a lot more hours in January that I'm putting in this month, and that's fine. That's kind of my form of balance. There is times and weeks and months where I'll work 12 hour days. I'll get up early and I'll work till late at night and I'll just grind. And then I kind of hit a burnout period and I need to take a break. This month is that for me. I went on holiday last month, with, or sorry, last week with my girlfriend. Uh, we're going away to a festival here soon again. I'm going away with, uh, with my friends for a couple of days as well this month. So it's going to be slower. I'm not going to be around as much. I'm not going to be publishing as much. Now, I still expect to hit the same amount of goals because I put my writers in, you know, in position to do that, giving them the topics that they can write. But I think it's fine to do that. Now, there obviously is times in your life when you need to capitalize and push as hard as you possibly can, and other times where you can kind of sit back. But for me, try and get systems in place, try and go ahead and get, you know, things moving at a similar level without me in it. And I can take kind of a step back. Now, this month, I definitely or this week when I was away, it kind of puts me in the mood to get back to work. When I go away, I get motivated again to get back to it. This is my first day back at work. And, you know, it's probably been one of the most productive days I've had in the past couple of weeks. Before I went on holiday, you know, I was sitting at my computer and I was you know, doing work, but I was watching a lot of YouTube videos. I was procrastinating. I was just doing random things. I wasn't motivated. Whereas I went away this week and when I was away, just talking to writers and, you know, looking at a couple of different things and doing some research, you know, just maybe when I'm on my phone, when I've got five minutes or whatever, ideas seem to spark up much easier when you're away and I've come back. And now we probably have 200 to 300 extra articles that we can write over the next couple of months. Now, if you've watched the videos in the past, you'll know that I was really struggling for content on this website. But now we've kind of unlocked that new thing. And sometimes that's all it takes. It's not just sitting at your computer and writing for hours or trying to do work or pretending to do work when you're actually procrastinating. Sometimes it's just like one big shift or one big decision that can move you forward much faster. And for me, they generally come when I'm relaxing, having fun and just taking some time off, just lying on a beach and you go, oh, shit, I should do this, or I could do that. And they just kind of come to you, so them sure ideas, right? So that's what happened to me this month, and it's kind of where I'm moving. And let me know down below in the comments how you guys work. Are you like strict, you know, you work nine to five, and then the rest is family, friend time, social time, or are you kind of like me, where you're kind of sporadic? There's, you know, kind of sprints in your life where you do a big sprint or a big chunk of really hard work, and then you can kind of tech ease off a little bit for a couple of months. And for me, the summer months are the best time to do that. You know, more people are off. There's a lot more social events. You can just kind of take a little bit of a break and have a little bit of a fun. Obviously, you want things to continue rolling and I'm not just stopping publishing or anything like that. 
we should do more articles than we've done previously this month. Um, but yeah, we're taking it a little bit slower. I'm taking a little bit slower. And maybe that's the thing I need to do to get the systems in place to move the business for, further forward. Obviously, I'm spending more money on content. And maybe this is just the break I needed to kind of, you know, it's just spend more, right? I don't want to miss my goals in publishing. So I'm willing to spend more. Whereas before I was a little bit nervous to go out there and push more money in the content when I could just do it myself because I, I was setting up my computer. But this month I said, I'm taking off. So we have to hit our goals. I'm not in the picture anymore. Someone else has to take over that work. So we have to hire writers to do it. And now we've done that. So I probably can't see myself going back in terms of their publishing vol volume. So now once I come back into the picture in a couple of months, we'll probably push out much more volume than we ever did. Hopefully anyway, we'll see. Maybe the thing just blows up uh, and this all goes to shit. But who knows? We'll see whenever uh, over the next couple of months. Make sure to subscribe if you want to follow along. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new here. See you guys soon.